video, we will demonstrate how to use the Adatel 761 to calibrate a differential transmitter. In this example, we will be calibrating a 0 to 5 inches of water Ashcroft differential transmitter. To connect the transmitter to the Adatel 761, the output port of the ADT 761 is connected to the high port of the transmitter. The reference port is connected to the low port of the transmitter. Because we will be using the ADT's internal 24 volt loop power supply, the electrical leads will be connected to the negative and positive heart connections, which utilize the 24 volt loop power supply. The ADT761 has a split screen that shows measure and source windows. In the measure window, by selecting measure, the appropriate setting is selected to read the transmitter. In this case, current is the selection we need. In the source window, select source and ensure the appropriate sensor range is selected for the device under test. In this case, plus or minus 10 inches of water is the best selection for this transmitter. By pressing Setup, we are able to select the 24 volt power function and enable or disable the internal supply of 24 volt loop power. In this case, we want the 24 volt loop power enabled. For this calibration, we will perform a 3 point test at 0, 2.5, and 5 inches of water. The first step is to vent to atmosphere and record the zero point. To generate a pressure point, simply enter in the desired pressure into the calibrator and it will automatically generate the pressure and the reading will turn green when the pressure point is achieved and stable. In this example, all calibration points are manually entered and data would be manually recorded. We will run this test ascending and descending to determine any hysteresis error. The Adatel 761 has a built-in step routine that allows for a very simple generation of set point pressures. Advancing from one set point to the next can be done automatically after a determined wait time or the program will allow for manual advancement. To automate the data collection, the save function can be used. This will record a snapshot of the data in the memory of the ADT761. This save feature is available whether using the step program or not. Saved data can be accessed in the setup menu of the ADT761. In the setup menu, select snapshot. As you can see, there are five records listed. As I scroll down the list, the data is presented off to the right. Press the task button and select pressure transmitter. Tasks are automated calibration procedures stored in the ADT761 memory. New tasks can be created or old tasks can be renamed or modified. Each task has a unique name and various fields specific to the device under test. When all the information is entered, the task can be run. After recording the environmental conditions, the task will begin to run automatically. Pressures are generated and when the defined wait time is reached after stability, the transmitter's analog output is measured and recorded on the table on the right. Manual entries can also be performed if desired. After the task is complete, the results are displayed with the option to cancel the test, save the results as found or as left, or save all, which records it as as found and as left. Adatel Land is a free software utility that allows for the download of saved data in the ADT761. This includes all data from tasks and data recorded in the snapshot files. We hope that you found this application video instructional and useful. For more information, please visit us at www.adatel.com.